Hey, we in here. What's going on, brother? We live like this. That's the Azul. Nah, me. We live with no jumper right now. So we in the right now. Um, I see Waka just dropped yesterday. Congratulations on that. That shit is going up right now. What was what was the process of linking up with Waka Flocka and making that shit happen? Well, that was um basically it all happened through social media already. Like wow, um, it went from a comment to the nigga just pulled up and have been loved ever since. Right? And my boy Waka, she a uh, official dude, man. Like as far as just like as on some real like human being, she a official nigga, man. Yeah, I've been seeing him a lot in the news. You know he. Just what he says, you know, he's a very strong minded and when he speaks something, he speaks real. He's like he's he he's go hard about his shit, you know what right. I'm saying? Like everything I've been you, fucking with Waka for a long time now. Like for me, I, I know you know like certain people is le legends, like cause you feel me just for what they did for the culture now. If you know yeah. Waka did for the culture, like if niggas really understand, like this is the nigga who brought the gun sounds to the music. Like this real is, shit, real this shit. Right now, this is like Chief, this is Bobby Schmurder, this is me, this is Fabi. This is like the the, you know, like where it originated from in a sense, like where, where the influence of that sound, that young nigga sound, that just not giving a fuck, wild, going hard, reckless sound. Like Walker really gave it that, and like that stripped down sound too of like just ad libs louder than the than the vocal. Like he he really brought that shit to the to the game for sure, for sure. Right. So, so when when he saw the record, of like when, because I'm sure a lot of people like rappers artists could see somebody tagging them or see a whole bunch of people tagging them like what was it that made him actually say like nah i actually want to get on this and then in terms y'all becoming cool because i seen y'all kicking it in the club and all of that like y'all look like y'all brothers type shit yeah like me and that nigga be talking then there every other day and shit like that so that's fire that's it fire was, it's definitely like, he show a lot of love you know what i'm saying and um it really like came like my son shout out my nigga dapper fucking um big joe Know what I mean, shout out, fucking like all the people like that, like close to him and shit like that. Cause a lot of people, his family was hearing the song. Like they was, he was telling me like they was, like yo, hear this song. So imagine like ten people in your family pulling up on you, like yo, you heard this Waka song, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he said it like I, like that. You feel me? And I had people that was really around him, that was like really pushing the um pushing for him to get on a record that was definitely fucking me. Like I said, like my boy Dapper, Big Joe, and them. Like these niggas was really like on, like they wanted that shit to happen too. So I feel like they energy helped create this too. I, honestly, when I first heard it, like I was hoping that that would have came around, but you know, it's just sometimes you know, especially people from the city. I feel like sometimes we don't always get that same spotlight as somebody else may have got it. But you took that shit and you made it happen. And when it do happen, it happened the right way. So I'm happy for you, bro. Real shit. Nah, thank you, man. Like no cap. I remember yeah, um Adam had asked me. When I was down there in LA, he like, yo, you, you really got walk on that shit? I was like, and this is like, no cap. This is before I even really secured it. Like, no cap. Yeah. He told me he was going to get on it for a while, but we ain't never really do it. So I was like, yeah, I got him. You feel me? But it was just like, look, this shit really happened. So where you at right now, man? We in this fucking quarantine right now. Everybody's stuck in the crib. Pandemic. Yeah. Our nation is fucking turned up on, on side of his head, flipped upside down. Like, how you dealing with this shit? I've been quarantining, like, I mean, for the most part, I have been peeking out here and there, but, um, yeah. for, like, groceries and shit like that, certain things, that right, right. very important shit, but, um, I mean, for the most part, I've just been just taking it, like, day for day, like, I've been thinking about it a lot, because, you know, because I've been thinking about where this could possibly go. And then, like, I've been li listening to, like, a lot of nurses' opinions and people that's actually yeah. going on with the situation. And it come, like, this shit is getting more nasty by the day. You feel what I'm saying? So it's getting closer to the home now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. like yo, then that was, like, I'm seeing people post up people. It's like, oh, shit. Like, shit is real. Yeah, it's in our backyard now. Before it was, like, on the TV. Now it's right here with us. Right, right, right. But um, for the most part, man, I think everybody just just, just keep they they out up. I feel like this uh, this shit is like a flu, a flu like virus. So I feel right. like it's a lot to do with how we've been taking care of our bodies before the the, the virus actually uh got into you. You feel me? Because it's oh, a lot for of sure, for sure. Definitely got the virus and overcame it, mm -hmm. and they living healthy right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing a lot of 
uh, good stories about people that, I mean, got healthy. But remember, America is like the number one like obese. Yes, yes. Body wise, hitting and sounding crazy. Like, yo, mad people die. It's because, like, we already got deep difficulties in America because niggas is obese. Niggas is yeah, eating dude. up. Niggas is wild and diabetes. Cancer smoked up. You feel me? OD, OD. As an artist who's, you know, really making your name, solidifying your name in the game right now, I know, like, upon this release, you probably would have been doing a lot of shows and, you know, club appearances. Yeah. How would you say this is affecting you negatively, but then positively for this quarantine? Like, what's the negatives you're getting from it right now? I mean, yeah, the negative is, like, what you just said. I ain't being able to interact with the fans. And, like, and yeah, especially me being who I am. Like, you know, like, and you know me personally, how I'll be moving around and how I'll be interacting with the people and shit like that. So, like, that's, like, my biggest thing. So it's definitely, like, taken from that. But I, I feel like... um. The positive side about this shit is it's bringing uh, families closer. It's bringing people closer. It's yeah. You talk about things that you really wasn't talking about on your day-to-day -day basis, you know? You get yeah, real shit. Calls from people that you wasn't getting them phone calls from. You know what I mean? Real talk. Real talk. Everybody's on their phone right now, so they tapped into whatever, whatever's going on. Hey, I'm seeing a lot of people doing the Instagram live shit, and it's bringing a lot of people together. I see Tory Lane's got a million people on his live and shit like that. This shit was crazy yesterday. Yeah, it's good for the culture. Though. So it's like, you see sometimes crisis bring people together, and it makes, it, you know, we could come out stronger, hopefully. That's what it's all about. It's about how we going to come out of this situation. That's right. That's a positive way to look at it, because we really are all in this together, like, I've never seen everybody move as a unit like this before, the whole country, the whole world, really, in one. Do you think um, people's going to start taking more initiatives to do stuff in the house as far as content? That's crazy, because that's what I've been thinking about doing. I've been thinking, I want to shit out. I'm ready to get in on that, too. Like, we got to get it. You should be getting in on that, too, because I feel like, shit, if we're going to be in for the next couple months, they try to make it seem like it's going to, like, that's what it's really looking like. So you might as well Real count shit. off this shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got like friends that'll pull up, like you know what I'm saying, to your, your online platform and you know I mean just try to make it work. That's the whole thing right now at the end of the day. So whatever's gonna happen, roll with the punches and we gonna yeah. make it, you feel me? But the whole thing is that people like the economy itself is gonna is going down. You feel me? People right. are working. people are not getting no income, so that's just like a horrible thing for people. Like how can people enjoy hip hop? after a while because it's all good right now but it just continues so much how could people actually go on instagram live and enjoy tory lane and you guys when they ain't got no food in their crib you feel yeah. me yeah mm -mm. shit is short in the stores and shit like that because everybody buying shit out about week after week it's getting shorter trust me and even if it's not it's not even about if you get sick or not it's about just the economy itself when you ever went into the store and there's no tissue in new york yeah, yeah this shit is weird <laughs> What's the whole city? Say it again. When you ever went to a store in New York City and there's no tissue across the whole city. This shit ain't right, man. This shit yeah. ain't right at all. You know what I'm saying? So look, you gotta you know what I mean you gotta prepare. This shit dead wrong, man. This shit dead wrong. I feel like I feel like they really got it too. Cause if you go to the bodegas, yo, the tissue is stacked from the floor to the ceiling. All bodegas got tissue and toilet paper. But the big supermarkets, they not putting it out. I wanna I wanna get you into that. On some conspiracy shit, but you know it is what it is, bro. The bodegas really still got the shit, and that's you know what I'm saying. Bodegas did, cause niggas like you gotta think, right? People was going to the, these masks. They not going like niggas is going to the bodegas and shit like that too. But inventory become different from when you at a regular bodega and then you at. It's not like a whole community going to one bodega. To get true, one. true, true. Like, yeah, it's like six bodegas on the block. You right? Yeah, you right. Walmart. They go into these big. Location to rack up, like, cause you mean I know I just went there, I just went to BJ's and try to get like, nigga, what? I just look, I got like two hundred rolls of tissues in my crib right now. You feel me? Are oh, you lit? What? You in New York right now? Yeah, I'm in New York. You know what I'm saying. I think also like us showing, like you and me showing this, and how you show uh, people seeing you and your environment get through this quarantine will help people. You know what I'm saying? Will help kids out there who's stuck in the crib that don't really got the motivation. Or seeking some motivation, they can't go out and record. They seeing you, and this this inspires them. Real talk, bro. I hope so, man. For real, for real, real shit. I do this shit for me. I hope to inspire somebody and just like really, and truthfully, I really want to tell everybody to stay in the crib because I'm really 
I'm starting to really like at the end of the day, like it may seem like there's a lot of people like they talk about martial law and all this other shit, you feel me? But like yeah. if you if you're really paying attention, like that's really the only way this shit gonna slow down. If there's really a virus out there, or whatever, because some people say no, it's not a virus, but I'm seeing people really just like I know RIP my son Tony Manchin. Dude, when you start seeing this thing all the time, you really just died from corona, bro. Wow. Dude, Damn, bro. I'm sorry. Rest in peace, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, Two of my family man. friends got it, too. Yeah, man. This shit is fucked up. So it's like, niggas just got to stay in the crib, bro. Like, it's getting nasty. I'm getting videos of people um putting bodies in the back of trucks and shit like that. And yeah. Man, this is good, bro. Yeah. And then the people who's not staying in the crib, you know, you seeing... People looking at them, they're like, yo, what's wrong with this nigga? He's reckless, da da da. Like, it's showing people's true colors, kind of, too. At the end of the day, the everything, I, nothing ain't real till they hit you. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. You just be taking it to the left. Like, I'm, you gotta be serious at the end of the day. Like, this shit is not a joke, my nigga. Something going on. We just gotta roll with the punches. If you wasn't prepared for this, then you gotta roll with the punches. There's niggas right now that literally prepared for this shit three years ago. They got a bunker full of millions of cans. They ready to go three years for this shit. Look, what happened? Zombies can come out. They good. This should make me think. Like, all them people that do them couponing and got all that shit stacked up in their crib, they good right now. They like, yo, thank you. Boys look at them niggas like they was crazy. Like, nothing about to happen. Yeah, like, why you, buy, why you buying 800 toothpaste? Like, nigga, because this shit yo, I watched she cried on Instagram, so she quit her job, a nurse. And she no. said, she, getting worse. She said, this shit getting worse, son. No cap. She was in the car driving? I don't, I'm not too sure, but she was like, she quit her job because they don't got enough equipment. They don't got enough. Uh, like, they got basically the nurses is going in there, no masks right now. And they all just catching it, spreading it. Wow. Yeah, because they don't have like, enough masks for them. Yeah, like, it's over at this point. Like, they don't got enough equipment. So I think the last time I actually saw you was uh, when we was in the studio. And you was working on, I'm not sure if you, you, you made some records that night, but it was me, you, Dex, a bunch of people was in there that night. Yeah. And that was actually the, the last night I saw Pop, too. Pop pulled up that night, if you remember, real quick. Yeah. yeah. I know y'all yeah. was very close. Um. You want to speak a little bit about that and like the impacts he had on the city and you and your friends and maybe a story that y'all remember a memory? What? It's my nigga, that shit, that whole pop shit, man, that shit, that shit really bothers me, man. I ain't gonna lie, so like that shit. Yeah, man. Bro, that shit is just crazy, like, you know what I mean? To watch a nigga like go from like that to that, it's just like, damn, son. And then it's just so close, you know, like, this is a nigga like nigga. Last time I seen Pop, like literally, like, like I, I, it was at his um, I think it was at his mixtape release party, yeah. And fucking no, no cap, like I just keep like replaying in my head, like when he, like when he see me, like, like, I, like his eyes blew up, he like the whole, like he's not throwing it. His energy, like he was just like, yeah. it was just like the whole thing. I'm really disappointed about because he was about to give y'all a whole new Pop. Like if anybody really knew him. Or just was paying attention to him, they uh, you understood like where he was going, like what he was about to do. Wow. And it, it was just crazy. He was, I'm telling you, I, I just knew in my heart he was about to go crazy, like for the city. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was really getting more into, like, you know what I mean? Because you know, like, when you first get on, you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta get focused. But he was coming back to make his rounds, you feel me, and do what he gotta yeah. do. He was definitely opening up to the world more, too. Like, if you realize, like, he wasn't. He was coming out talking more. He was being more fun. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, it took my boy out of his glow right there, son. And then it's just even, it's just fucked up, son. It's like, you know, I'm an artist too. So it's just like, damn, son. This nigga brought me out to my first big show. Wow. I mean, the first, yeah, niggas don't even know that. Like, a lot of people be saying a lot of shit too. Like, you know what I mean, but niggas don't know. Like, these, these niggas waited for us outside of High 97 Pop. All these niggas, they waited for us to come. Just so we could be in an interview with them, feel me? If wow. you watched it with um Drewski, like they first interview, we um yeah. five, you know, I'm in the interview too, but I'm not in the the camera, so you don't see me on the video. But um that's when they played Walker on the radio for the first time at wow. Pop Shit. And Pop brought us out to Amazora 
at his first big show, and we did Waka. You get what I'm saying? So it was just, it was always love for me with my baby with pop, man. And we done had dinners together and shit like that. Just Why like, we, we was both, all of us coming up together and watching that, bro, just fucked up, bro. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. It was a, it was just bad timing, man. Like, I just wish, I mean, it was more protection around them or just something. I just wish it never happened. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Really? yeah. This is pop smoke, bro. Like, this is really the homie. Like, my son was a official nigga on top of that, son. Like, I could talk about other situations and just how he dealt with certain things and how he moved as a man. And he was just official with it, man. And just like, I just really wish we ain't lose that nigga, son. Because it was just so. You feel me? And then Bobby about to come home and everybody's together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just so big. They don't understand what they took from us, from, from hip hop. Even from the community, like you know what I'm saying, like all the everybody, like it would have just been amazing. You never see this. This has been like the old, old the dream team. You know? Yeah, real talk, real talk. New York, just like it, just like damn, not pop, cause he was the one. He was the king. He's the king, and he was the one. You know what I mean? That was he was the the forefront of the shit. At the end of the day, you feel me? Like you know I mean, we, we all been doing this 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 little, what you call whatever everybody call this little drill, whatever music. I mean, whatever name they want to give it, but. This little sound niggas been doing this shit. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. Pop was the one to bring it to the forefront of the world. He was the one people seen doing it. You know what I'm saying? The collaborations, the radio play, yeah. Hey, like he's doing, so it's like he brought it, he got it to the next level for us to even get lit off this shit. Off the sound. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. And he, he gave us exposure as well on his journey. So it's just like. Oh man, so I always wanted the best for that nigga. So like I always shouted that nigga out. I always wanted him like, you feel me? Cause this is this is this is what we do. I do the same shit for five of all my niggas, you feel me? Yeah. Damn, son. That shit is heartbreaking, bro. It really is. But you know, at the end of the day, we gotta just man, I mean, keep 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 his name alive and just like keep the music going, keep the sound going and try to, you know what I mean, put on for the city, man. You and definitely you, are. You know I mean? you definitely it's, are, bro. I mean, sure. that's what we're going to turn up, man. Definitely. And just, like, keep just keep promoting the sound and try to take it to the next level. And definitely, like, I mean, make sure we take care of our people. You know what I'm saying? Long live Pop Smoke. We taking care of the people. You heard? Back. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. We going viral, man. That's what it's about, man. Or... Cheers. Cheers, my bro. Cheers. Cheers. Connect. My brother. Black Day gang. Quarantine season. Listen, man, we gotta stay focused. Everybody gotta understand. As long as you alive, should it never end, man. Yeah. I be thinking about the niggas that's in jail right now. Like nigga, like a nigga who had a court date on March 20th, and they talking about they canceling court for 90 days and you in there for fucking a weed bag or some dumb shit, and you supposed to come no shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you wind up doing four or five months in jail because you ain't have $200 in belt. Trust me, because these are the situations I used to be in. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's niggas right now on a rock that was supposed to come home that whole month. That's probably, you know what I'm saying? Or they probably letting them go. You never know, but you just know the system get wacky. You know what I'm saying? And they got people. I be thinking about them niggas. You feel me? Then you, imagine a, 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 a virus like this spreading throughout a jail. It is, too. They said it was in Rikers, all that. So where you at right now? You um, you in the studio? You at the crib? I get y'all a little one-two world tour, man. Okay, you, okay. Welcome to the... It's the... the Woo! You know what I'm saying? I'm on the, on the iPod pad, so you can't really see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. That's how we coming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. You wasn't playing yet. Y'all fully stocked. You know what kind of painting is this? Nah. It's a hundred thousand dollar thing. That's what it is. Yeah, that's a hundred thousand dollar <laughs> type of thing. That's a hundred thousand dollar type of shit. That's two hundred thousand. See this one. This is the big boy right here. You see, that sound look familiar? Yeah. What sound is that? That's the off white Virgil. The Virgil. Oh man, if I told you what that is. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's the off white version. That's a collab he did with an artist, a big artist. It's a big thing. That's crazy. You know what this is? 
Nah. This is a cause opinion. Shout out to Big cause, yo. That's fire. I like that. <laughs> like this that. It's been a special production brought to you by Black Bean. <laughs> Bow. Ether to connect. Bow. You know that, man. Yo, I appreciate you. Viral, man. Yeah, man, you heard? Ah, uh, yo, I appreciate you, bro. You know that, man. Gang, anytime, man. That's a fact.